So tell me um, a little bit about how you read or how you remember reading BM when you were younger. Um, reading was more of a struggle when I was younger because I had a hard time seeing it. So it would take me a really long time to read a book. Mm -hmm. So the teachers were like, she may need to be put in special classes to learn how to read and be able to keep up with the curriculum that the other kids are having. Okay, so you were having a hard time keeping up with the, the curriculum because of the reading, the amount of yes. reading? So what? how did that make you feel about coming to school? Um, I didn't really have a problem coming to school. It was more of in class keeping up. Mm -hmm. it was, I don't know how to explain it. It was more like I want them to slow down, but I don't know how to say it. Mm -hmm. okay. So I kind of just did what I was told to do. Mm -hmm. And when you finally got to get your books on your, oh, did you, what other types of books did you try before you went to book fair? Did you use um, large print or anything like that? I do not remember. Okay. Um, do you remember what kind of technology she used? She had that. Okay. Um, you know, she just needed larger, larger text, mm -hmm. um, and so sometimes it was cumbersome. Okay. Big papers. <laughs> yeah, and then you got on Bookshare, and what are the things that you like best about reading books on Bookshare? Um, I'll highlight the words as it, as it reads to you. Um, if you want to stop and write down a certain sentence, you can press it and it'll highlight the sentence. Mm -hmm. um, it'll read it to you. Um, you can go back or you can go forward in, in a book. You can bookmark a page. So you have a lot of control over it, like a like a paper book would. Yeah. Okay. And what what do you find helpful about the highlighting? Um, it gives you a good contrast between the colors. Did you set your own colors up then? Yes. Okay. Good deal. Um, what other features do you like? So it's reading, it's highlighting, it's easy to stop and get start. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about the size of the text? Yeah, so with the size of the text, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller depending on how big you need it. Um, you can also zoom in on the book, mm -hmm. or you can zoom out and make it as big or as small as you need on the page itself. Do you get any of the files that have the images so that you can see some of the pictures in um, the book? It was like with one or two books, but mm -hmm. like the, uh, the rest of the, of the books that did have pictures that didn't show up. So it, I think it depends on the kind of book or something, I'm not sure. Okay. So what do you do when you need to see the pictures that are in the books, um, but you don't have those on your file? I will usually just use my iPad and take a picture if someone has the hard copy. Okay. okay. Good deal. Um, how has the use of Bookshare impacted your reading and impacted how you feel um, your competence, how you feel good about what you're able to do in the classroom? Um, it's really helped because I'm able to keep up with everyone else. Um, and something happened last year that's a sign of the success you've had with it. What was that? I got moved up to pre-AP in the middle of the year. Okay, good. Congratulations. Are there any things that, that uh, Bookshare makes barriers for your learning with? Are, are there barriers that you have to overcome, or is it all helpful? It's not just helpful. There's not only the barriers. Sometimes it's difficult to download a book because you have to like spell it right and use the author and stuff. Okay. So uh, searching for and finding the book? Yeah. Okay. All right, good enough. Anything else you want to tell us about it? No, but I don't think Okay, good deal. Anything you can think of? I'm just so glad you have. <laughs> yeah, good deal. All right. Excellent.